how to master the art of shadow boxing part one welcome back my friend i hope you're having a great day now just a little disclaimer i do not want you to think that you are gonna be a badass fighter from just pure shadow boxing but throughout my time on youtube i post a lot of my shadow boxing workouts and a lot of you've been asking for some technical advice how do i do this how do i do that so in this series i'm going to break it down but again i do not want you to think that you're going to become a great badass fighter from just straight shadow boxing these are some tips and tricks that i've developed over time that you can use to become better at sharpening your skills while shadow boxing now the number one key to me in fighting is balance if you do not have balance it is extremely hard for you to move and groove especially throw with power now i boxed as a kid sparred a lot sparred a lot with different guys throughout my teenage years sparred a lot on the streets whatever just doing all that stuff if you fall down that's your ass so balance is key now when you want to throw extremely hard balance is key if you want to try and move out of the way balance is key it wasn't until i got into mixed martial arts i got with my mixed martial arts gym i fought some amateur mixed martial arts where i really understood this concept now you got guys kicking you in the leg trying to take you down if you do not have balance again that's your ass dude now the way to really develop balance the way that i've developed balance for me to move and groove on my feet really have good footwork is number one jogging road work is a staple for every striker whether you do muay thai kickboxing or boxing you are gonna be running and running miles and miles number one yes to build the stamina number two yes to build the mindset but number three this is where i notice i build a lot of my balance and the lightness on my feet it's through jogging when you're jogging doing your road work you have to picture in your mind that you are light on your feet this way when you're jogging you have to almost be like floating this will really get that good strength in your feet a lot of guys say they got shin splints they got calf cramps a lot of it is because your feet and your calves and your shins are not conditioned when they're not conditioned when you get fatigued and you're throwing punches you're not gonna have that balance so when you're jogging you gotta have this visualization and this feeling of just being lighter on your feet then of course key number two will be jumping rope like i said every striker is extremely good at jumping rope jumping rope when you see the way that i do it i like to switch back and forth with my feet that is how you develop good balance as well as great coordination when i jump rope i'm jumping rope my arms are moving my feet are moving they're moving in harmony in order for me to whip the rope as fast as i possibly can now when you jump the rope it builds a lot of great balance when i move it from side to side i've got to switch from foot to foot really just helping me to distribute my weight between my right leg and my left leg when you don't have this kind of balance it shows back when i had a gym did more fitness stuff but on the side i would hold mitts for a lot of my clients and some of these guys were extremely good in shape very athletic strong powerful and muscular but when we would hit the mitts and i would tell them hit it as hard as you possibly can and as fast as you possibly can they didn't have balance it wasn't a means of coordination it was just balance when they're throwing like a quick one two and they throw it really fast and hard they would get so thrown off balance just because of the twisting at the hips it's not like throwing a ball because when you throw a ball once the ball is done you don't have to externally rotate the opposite direction so when you throw a left and a right hand or a left and right hook you're like throwing yourself off balance and if you do not have the strength in your legs in your calves in your feet to hold yourself while you're switching back and forth right hand left hand left hook right hook uppercuts you are going to get so thrown off balance and that's really going to throw everything off it's going to hurt your cardio in a fight it's going to hurt your ability to throw at power it's going to hurt your ability to just move out of the way from power shots everything so for part one on mastering the art of shadow boxing you gotta focus on doing road work and being light on your feet while you're jogging really practicing then jogging backwards jogging sideways, jogging forwards then the jumping rope you really really gotta put in those hours on getting light in your feet again it's one thing to squat have strong legs be athletic 
But if you do not have balance, just from being light on your feet, your shadow boxing is going to feel a little weird. This takes time and a lot of training and more so fixing your intentions behind your training routines. Whenever you're running, jogging, sprinting, the jumping rope, you got to have this in mind that you're creating balance in your body so you can throw your left and right hand. You can rotate extremely hard on your feet and your hips without crossing yourself up. So for today, part one, focus more on switching your intentions in your training. Focus on being light on your feet, jogging, your jumping rope, and creating that balance. Part two, I'll be going more into how to generate power through that balance and your actual footwork. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, train hard and be kind.